first of all, I want to thank um, you know the tip off and uh, the way it all went. You know, Skip Connors did a great job putting it together for the Children's Hospital and Al's Angels. I thought it was a great day uh, for the city of Boston to have two of the teams in the in the state come out and play uh, versus each other. And um, you know, I think all in all, other than the outcome, it was good for basketball in the area. Um, and I'm hoping that at some point we can continue, and uh, we'll see how that goes. But as the game went, I thought in the first half, Boston College did a great job of taking us out of our tempo and how we play. Um, we forced some shots, really didn't uh, ever get in a flow. And then in the second half, we, uh, we did a nice job of making a, a tough comeback and really put a scare into him for a minute. I think Freddie Riley had a three rattle in and out that would put us up one with uh, less than two minutes left. So a good game, but we have a lot to learn, and I think we're uh, – Going to have a lot to learn to get better. The players. What do you see out of, what do you see out of Terrell Vincent tonight? Did you see some, some signs of life from him? He's still got a ways to go. I think he has a ways to go. Uh, not a lot of people know he's been battling some, some injuries that have slowed him down a little bit. Um, and he's not one to make excuses. So I didn't really find out till recently. But I, um, you know, we, we talked a little bit at halftime. I, I thought bringing him off the bench would wake him up a little bit. And I thought he gave us some good quality minutes. Played 18 minutes, eight points on four, four shooting, three rebounds. And honestly, I think he's just scratching the surface of where he can be as a basketball player. Um, as soon as he um, continues to play hard like he's been in the past and, and gets healthy, um, he'll give us one more weapon on both ends of the floor. Did you want to play, going into this game, what do you expect from Darryl? Did you get more out of him than you expected? Uh, I, I expected about 12 minutes out of him. He ended up playing 15. Um, the first half, I, I didn't think he played real well. He, you know, there was a stretch where he was in there. And, he took a bad shot. Freddie took a bad shot. There was one more play, and they, they ended up extending their lead. But I thought in the second half, that was the Daryl that um, you know I'm used to seeing in practice and in games. The guy that was all over the floor taking charges and just harassing the other team. Um, we, we gave ourselves a chance at least to win the game, even though we didn't pull it out. Daryl, uh, yeah, Daryl, Derek, what do you take from the? What do you uh, take from this game as far as using it to move forward? Well, you know. That's an ACC team. They're, they're a good ball club. I mean, their point guard, I thought, had a fantastic game. He, he looked great. And, you know, I'm learning more about our team every day in that I don't think they're ever going to quit. They're going to always fight and compete. And now we just have to make some adjustments basketball-wise to make sure we're all on the same page. I don't know if it was the bright lights or the crowd or what it was, but I thought we rushed early um, in the first half. We missed a bunch of easy shots, and that, that gave BC some confidence and also deflated our team a tad. So, um, you know, when we're on a big stage like this, maybe we have to do things a little differently. Was this different than some of your – you've had some st tough starts to games, but this one looked almost over-anxious as opposed to flat. Is it, was this a different way, type yeah, of tough start? Yeah, I thought they were over-anxious myself. I mean, the guys missed two-footers and layups and all sorts of different things. Luckily, we played play some defense. <laughs> um, we were only up or down, you know, six, nine points. And then putting them, putting them to the free-throw line the way we did is unacceptable. Um, we've talked about it in practice and, you know, meetings and all that. We still went out and gave them 24 free throws, which, you know, they outscored us by 11 from the free throw line. I think that's a, a tough stat to overcome in college basketball. And then to shoot three for 16 from three doesn't help much uh, on top of that. Anything else? Taking them all the way deep into that shot clock down, uh, down to, I think, two at the time. And Jackson makes the uh, three-pointer there to, to stretch their lead back out. How, how deflating was that at the time? Um, it was a little discouraging. Daryl, uh, first, first, first game back. How, how was your foot, and how do you feel like you affected the game tonight? My foot is good. Um, I feel like um, the only thing I'm trying to bring is energy. I know my offense wasn't going to be there, so I just trying to bring in defense and try to get my team going. And then did he give you, he give you guys a lift in the second half? Yeah, he gave, he gave us a great lift. Um, he was crushing the uh, ball defensively very well. I mean, Jackson turned it over a couple times down, down the stretch. Anthony, uh, we've all well talked about you coming home. Uh, disappointed that you lost, but the experience in general is it something you look forward to? Um, I don't really think I remember the experience, and then I'll probably remember it more than one. I mean, I feel like that.
several times this season you guys have had a significant lead and you've dropped, you know, the points to your opponent. So how do it feel to be on the other side of that and actually, you know, ch have to chase it? Um, in the first half, we hit a uh, little bit of adversity. I mean, we had a lot of guys in foul trouble. Myself had two. I think Jamal had two. Carol Vincent had two. And a few other guys. But um, I think we showed that we're very resilient. We, we uh, fought back in the second half. I think we were down about 10 to 11 points. And um, it just showed the character of our team. We won't quit to the, to the brothers' hands. Anything else for players? Okay. You guys are good. Thank you. Continue with questions for Coach.